classy this evening, Kesh? I think so. Not too flash, eh? You didn't get that round here, did you? No, I've got to find like Josie. She gets 10% off from some shop in Chapel Market. Not bad, eh? It's a bit good for the pub, isn't it? Oh, our boss's orders. <laughs> Where does he think he is, eh, Dallas? Yeah. yeah. Well, about time and all. Hello, Sherlock. Look, I can't stop. I'll see you later. Right, right, see you, Kev. Right. You got the keys? Yeah, I picked him up from Dad. Oh, Shell, I can't wait. Well, why did you go in? Because I wanted just to do it together. <laughs> right, who's going to carry you over the threshold? <laughs> <laughs> Mind your own business. It is my business, you stupid little no, cow. Business. Jean's been looking after Annie all this time. Not the door, you stupid little bitch. You're a very lucky man, Simon. Oh, yeah. Working with such a beautiful woman. Oh, yeah, nice bit of smack, eh? Thank you. Yeah, turn around. Yeah, that's better. Thanks. Look, Michelle, sure it makes more sense. You're looking there and me in here. But if you're in here, you might have been privileged. Yeah, and if you're in it, I think you'll be up all hours, won't you? Well, what if you and Duncan want You'll just have to go to bed early, won't you? I can't imagine you and Duncan together, you know. Yeah, well, I don't want to spoil your fantasy. It's daft, isn't it, eh? Especially as me and him are hardly talking. Well, he apologised. What more do you want? Yeah, I suppose so. So it's settled then, yeah? Yep, suits me. Oh, if it don't work, we'll think again. Girls! Oh, hey, hello. 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 Here. You want to keep that kitchen light on overnight? It can get dodgy in that back alley. What you got there then? Some bits and pieces for your flat. Oh. They'd do you all right, wouldn't they, eh? Oh, this is brilliant not having the family breathing yeah. down our necks. Except for your gran banging on the wall. <laughs> yeah, are you sure you can spare all this? Yeah, it's more where this come from, but don't tell your dad. Oh, man, he'll see it when he comes round, will we'll he? spread it around a bit. Take whatever's offered. We will, don't worry. How much are you charging you? 25 a week each. Plus rates? Yeah, I suppose so. Plus gas, electric, phone bill. How are you going to manage? Well, it's cheaper than what me and Lofty were getting. Yeah, and don't forget, Mum, there is a kitchen and a bathroom. Yeah, yeah but he's your dad. Cool, he's a tight-fisted so-and-so. Mum, yeah. we want to stand on our own two feet. If we're not rash, we'll manage. After the housewarming. Oh, I've forgotten about the housewarming. Well, come on, we've got to have a party. Oh, you're having a party, are you? When's this? Well, next week. We'll have it before you put the good stuff in, otherwise it gets spoiled. Oh, oh that's, that's true, you know. Point. Yeah, well, I'll do we have it on Thursday. OK. Great. Yeah, and get your dad to cough up for the booze. <laughs> After all, it's a new start for you girls, isn't it, eh? I'll see you later. See you later, ma'am. Should you bring your stuff in here? Yeah, come on. Uh, what are we going to do about this party? Well, you're the bookkeeper, Shell. What's it going to cost us each month? Rough guess. Yeah. 200 for rent, say 50 gas and electric, 80 to 100 on food, and that's excluding rates. How much is that, eh? Well, I mean, I'll pay more because of Vicky and because I've got the bedroom. It's only fair. You know what I'm thinking? I can guess. Part time job. Mm. <laughs> I tell you what, the day you take your stool down, the market will collapse. <laughs> What's going to work? It's called PR. The pundits love it. Oh, I'd better tell Frank that. I'll do that. Oi, did you say hello then? Oh, hello. You can't stand him. Look, you can't afford to have enemies in this game, Pat. Yeah, but silly poke. Oh. Look, Eddie's into something. Can't you see? So, not from where I'm standing. Look, it's called the market. Let's have a look at them. No. Come on then, half a badger. There's room for a little bit. Yeah, you could do with that. I'm fine, thanks, Lynn. Full of the joys of spring, eh? Yeah, spring comes to Walford, eh? Yeah, that reminds me, you know, when Michelle moves out, Pauline will have to do a big clean out. I've already started mine, and I did. What's that? Spring cleaning, chucking out all the rubbish. Oh, is that what you call it? Yeah, Lou. Do you remember the old days? I can see my mum, turban and overalls, everybody hanging out their carpets and mats in the same week and beating the hell out of them. <laughs> well, in those days, they did things properly. They ran the house properly. Rigorous clockwork. Monday, washing the lining, choosing the big clean And so on, and so on, and so on. Don't mock Arthur. I respect my mum for that. She's got a day's mapped out from start to finish. Well, now that is a bit of this and a bit of that. Folks flitting about. Yeah, I suppose that's how we survive, eh? Do you think so? Yeah, I actually wish you could read their minds sometimes. Women's minds? It's impossible, mate. There's more scheming and dirty tricks in their head than there is in the old of the CIA. Here you go. Where's Rod tonight? I don't know. Who cares? Everyone was going to spare about you, you know, where were you? I had a job, didn't I? Chance to earn a bit extra. Good for you. Well, I get cheesed off with people interfering. I mean, Sue was looking after her. I was not what all the fuss was about. Excuse me, Jack. Well, I could have got you there. No, no, you've got enough to do. It's not that busy. Uh, what's that perfume you got on? It's nice. Oh, it's nice. I like to know a bit of perfume. I like to smell nice. Yeah, well, it suits you. Some girls get it all wrong, you know. Well, so do fellas. Some girls label it on. What do you think of this, then? Mm, not bad. You're busy later. Okay. On what? On who's asking him why. Takes it back, eh? What does? A love's young dream. Is that what it is? It's got a straightforward shut-up job to me. Well, hello. Evening, Pete. 
What's this? The uh, one customer? No, 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 not me. What's it to you anyway? It's not you paying up wage at the end of the week. More new gear. Oh, don't worry, it's finished now. My wardrobe's complete. Anyway, where's he in tonight? Brown Barry's. No gig for us, I know. You're not speaking to me. Well, probably because you're never there. Oh, shut up, don't worry. Drink your drink. Here, Mary, you want to watch him, love? Oh, I am, Pete, I am. Here, Cap, it seems way too busy tonight. Do you think? No, all right, as long as the boss don't mind. Yeah, I'll do the same for you tomorrow night, all right? Well, he's playing the field a bit, isn't he? Don't want to go mad if she finds out. So about right. That's enough, Cap. You worry me, you do. Oh, great. She comes to Walford, screws up all our lives, and you tell me that's enough. Cap, that girl's here to stay. There's nothing you can do about it. Yeah, I feel at home already. It's going to be brilliant. Look, if I graft really hard all day tomorrow, I think we could move in tomorrow night. Well, let's get some blokes to help us. The sooner we're in, the better. Mm. Hello. Oh, you're in? Yeah, just up to bed. It's a bit early for you, isn't it? Yeah, I thought I'd have an early night. That's your cup of tea? No, thanks. Let's have chocolate, then. Yeah, that's a good idea. Some bugging him, isn't there? Yeah, he's definitely a bit off. Don't worry, Cap, I'll have a word in the morning. Oh, I'll do it. It's me he's mad at. Can't be doing with all this aggro. Lies, deceit, it's getting me down. No, there are some things that's best left unsaid. Oh, yeah, Cap. They're not the most important things. Yeah, I know. I mean, this last year, I had enough bombshells to last me a lifetime. Cool, I know. But there's me and you still talking. Yeah, there you are, go on. Cheers. You see, Cap, at the end of the day, it's all down to trust. I trust you. Sometimes I think you don't trust me, though. Ah! That's where you're wrong. It's other people. I'm not so sure. I catch you looking at me sometimes as if you're wondering what I'm up to. I'm not Angie, you know. Thank God for that. Then hasn't got a clue. I tried telling him. Oh, Pete, you promised. I give us credit. I was just dropping in. Should have seen it at night, cracking around that bar, making a right exhibition of herself. They were lapping it up. Even Mum. Made a good impression all round, eh? What's she up to now? <laughs> Get you out of bed? Yeah, what time is it? Quarter to eight. Oh, you're mad. No, that's an understatement. I'm hopping mad. Yeah, well, you didn't have to get me out of bed to tell me that, did you? You kept me awake until half past two with your racket. The whole house was vibrating. Yeah, well, I was working, putting a tape together. From Wembley Arena? Hi, oh. what's all the noise? Hi. Wouldn't it be simpler to have your conversation in private? Yeah, look, you're welcome to come in if you want. Didn't he keep you awake last night? Yes, Carmel, but I was rather hoping to make up for the lost sleep with a lie-in. Well, I can't afford a lie-in. Yeah, well, I'm sorry. You know the trouble with you two is you're old before your time. Try using earplugs. Harry! Oh. I... I'm sorry, Colin, I wasn't getting at you. Ah, oh, it's all right, Carmel. It's driving me mad as well. Dr Leg will have him mad if he's not careful. What? Ian, don't forget to wash up after you, will you, love? Everything all right with Barry? Yes. How's the disco going? It's going great. It's gone eight. Never mind what the time is. Are you all right? Yes. Has your dad said something to upset you? No. Nope. I thought so. Then it's me, isn't it? What have I said or done that's upset you now? Nothing. Oh, do me a favour, Ian. Mum, you're going to be late. Oh, thanks. What a great way to start the day. Early for you, isn't it? Well, you know me when the mood takes me. Oh, yeah? What mood's taking you today? Nothing. I'm just checking the books are up to date for you and Frank. Hotel. Oh, My little and up yet? Yeah, only she uh, can't find a mug, just like I can't find a spare bath, Matt. In the wash, I expect, girl. With me bedside, lamb? <laughs> go on, here we go. There's your mum, go on. Hello, have a good walkies, did we? Oh, very nice. <laughs> here you go. I say one thing about Denny. Looks after that dog, doesn't he? What's this? Love me, love me dog, love me fellow man week or something. <laughs> Take no notice, probably. Uh, is there any tea made upstairs or Yeah, what? there is, if you can find a mug. I can't find a blooming thing. I mean, clearing up's one thing, but this is getting ridiculous. Come on, then. Ten quid the lot in this box. All your favourites. Peter, Paul and Mary, the Crystal Supremes, they're all there. It's all to yourself, mate. Yes, oh, it's the lot of them. I can't give them away. Harry. Has he been acting funny with you? He went home early last night, left me a load of records to record. He ain't said anything, has he? Oh, what? He's got me up about something. You know, perhaps he's got a lot on his mind, eh? But tell your mother everything, you know? So a fussy mother, is that what you're saying? Look, me and Ian have always been close. I don't stand in his way or anything. Well, look, have a talk with him, mate. Eh? We mind the store for a second. We're going to have a good word with Pete. Cheers, thanks. Hello, Hi, Kath. You all right? Yeah. Hiya. 
Still got the help for me? No, I never had the help. It sounded like it, the way you No, no, it's just Carmel. Left to me, I just let you get on with it. Well, that's not like you. You're not usually slow in coming forward. Yeah, but it's sort of nice having you next door, isn't it? Leave off. It's a constant reminder. Something I've just got to put up with. Don't go all sentimental on me. <laughs> Weren't you at the drawing board this morning? Oh, no, I can't face that. Got a rejection note this morning. Bad ideas turned down before, but never worked, with you? You what? Perfection's your middle name, isn't it? Oh, well, I've been knocked off my pedestal now. See ya. See ya, mate. So, Drew, is that the lot boy? Yep. Oh, he's a tired little boy this morning, then. Oh, leave off. 35 feet, love. You're going to play the fill, son? You better get into training. What time no. last night, did you? Cod, chips and wallets, that's all it was. I'll set it up later, all right? Yeah, sure. So, what did Ian say? Nothing. That's what's bugging me. It's all right with me, Kat. That's one in the family. I mean, look at Michelle and her blinking blues. Must take after my mate. I can't help worrying, though. What's the point? Don't worry. If I see him, I'll sort it out. Mm, thanks. But be nice to him, eh? And me? I'm nice to everyone. <laughs> yeah, just come straight through, Simon. Oh, this is a bit of all right, isn't it? It's brilliant, isn't it? Yeah, well, I thought we'd have a quick look round. It's amazing how they convert these old houses, isn't it? I mean, you couldn't imagine Grand's looking like this. It's exactly the same shape. I know. But all you need is two essential ingredients. One is imagination, the other is money. Me, I've got a bit of imagination. But I can't offer you a coffee or anything, so... That's all right. I can't stop them. I'll give myself the old day to clear this lot up. Well, at least you've had a little helper, eh? I know. I'd taken around Grand's earlier. Come in here, darling. But as soon as I got round there, Grand had dozed off. Typical. The one day I needed some time to get on. Well, she's always babysitting. Is she going to come to the party on Thursday? Yeah, great. Who's coming? Oh, you mean what talent have we got lined up for you? Well, yeah, if you like, the more the merrier, as far as I'm concerned. Oh, you don't mind them all under the same roof? Well, why should I? You've got to keep them guessing, haven't you? You want to be careful, Prince Charming. One of these days, someone will turn you into a frog. Yeah, there you are, look. And next. Oh, Give me a pound of them apples. Nice ones, mate. All the gear on this school, nice one, look. My old dad used to say, you can't tell a bargain, you can't see your way home. Hey, up. Just over. 45 feet. Which is Carmel Roberts' house? Carmel's? Mm -hmm. Look, round the corner, past the thing. Number three, spacing. Thank you. Ground floor, and the next one. Oh, Pete, can I have a quick word, please? Why? Well, it's the wine bar. I gather it's been sold. Oh, that was quick. Well, rather too quick for my life. Any idea who's bought it? No oh, idea, mate. Search me. Well, the, there's a rumour that it's been taken over by a bunch of thugs. Get away. But if it's true, I'll block it. Put you on your tod. Well, I'll oppose the licence. Come on, it won't get you far. Well, not on my own, granted, but I do have friends. Oh, yeah, what? In high places? Well, high enough, I should imagine. Oi! Our girl wants a word with you. Well, hurry up, I'm busy. Look, Dad, we're having a housewarming Thursday night. Will you provide the booze? At a price. This ain't Band-Aid. Don't be stingy. All right, I'll see what I... Here, do I get invited? Sorry, Pete, young people only. Not enough room for the old square, you know. I should think not. I'm surprised you two are having one at all. You've got a big commitment on with that flat. Where does he get off being so tight, eh? You take what you like, darling. Glasses, crockery, chairs, a lot. Thank you. Charming, what about the rest of us? Too old to go to the party. No chairs to sit on. We'll get them back, Pat. Have you organised the booze? Not exactly, no. She will do when she's worked on her dad a bit more. Oh, we don't have any favours. This we do. Look, have you asked Dean about the food? Like later. You don't ask, you don't get. You'd do the same for Ian, wouldn't you? I don't know what's got into him, man. Maybe the party will cheer him up a bit, eh? Yeah, we've invited Donna Thursday. You should be pleased about that. Yeah, so will Simon. Here we go again, eh, Pete? What's that? Two brothers fancying the same woman. Yeah, but our brothers don't count, do they? <laughs> it's now much of a bit in a tenner. Yeah. yeah. Put that in a kit, Jacob. Oh, oh, generous of you, isn't it? You ain't even invited. Come on, Shell. You and me's got business. Business? Are you sure you won't come in? Quite, quite sure. I've got some fried fish and salad. If I step in that house, I'll have to lie to your father. And I'm not lying. Well, don't tell him. No, it's out of the question, girl. All right, please yourself. The Queen Vic does some nice lunches over there. Carmel. The calf, then? I'm quite happy sitting in them gardens. Well, I'm not. I've got quite a few calls on this afternoon, and I'm starving. Hello, Uncle Alf. Hello there. Where's Wilmot? He's over there, but I shouldn't interrupt if I was you. It's the old Bill. Oh, I see. Yeah, well, I wanted to tell him that Pauline was going to be late tomorrow morning. She's taking Martin to the dentist. Yeah, oh, yeah. What's up with Graham? Nothing, as far as I know. Well, it's just something Shell said. I reckon she's doing too much now. She's getting on. What did Shell say? Well, she dozed off while she was babysitting. Looking after two kids is tiring, isn't it? Listen, your gran is a law unto herself. If she didn't want to do it, she wouldn't. Yeah, even so. Even so, Nully, this family's got to pull together, young and old. Okay. Thanks, Barney. Because he's gone then. Yep. All this talk about neglected kids, and she suddenly remembered she had three of her own. She might come back, but I doubt it. So I'm really pushed at the moment. Well, how about us filling in? You're working already, right, aren't you? Yeah, well, temping isn't exactly a full time job. Well, Sharon's is. And anyway, I can pay the same rate that you get for temping. And the hours I need someone for are crazy. How crazy? 
Who wants a job from 6.30 to 8.30 in the morning and 6 to 8 at night, eh? Two idiots, her and me. Come on now, we can split it. I'll do the mornings. I'm talking about the cab control, not the cab. It's all right, I make terrible coffee. Look, and I can do the evenings. That will still give me a bit of time to myself, won't it? So, you didn't show Dad my note then? I certainly did. It's all right in the fire then, did he? He's got no quarrel with you, girl. But it mentions Darren's name, though, doesn't it? It's fixed in his head and there's nothing I can do about it. Talking, praying, nothing's going to change the way he feels about that boy. But I'm worried. Darren's my son. I'm so worried for him, Carmel. Don't you have no idea at all where he can be? I guess it's as good as mine. Oh, look, don't look so worried. He can take care of himself, can Darren. You sound so unconcerned. But you must be worried or you wouldn't write me. He'll turn up in his own good time. Look, it's the kids I'm worried about. That's why I got in touch, Mum. Something has to be done about those children. You're a very capable girl. They'll be fine with you. I got a job, rent to pay, a flat to run. Look, I was jogging along OK. Then all of a sudden I get lumbered with three kids. Three kids, Mum, because that precious son of yours is the biggest kid of them all. Carly. He does what he wants, when he wants to. Look, he's a good and loving father when he's around, but you can't pick and choose when you spend with your children. They're with you till they grow up. You can't just leave them when it suits you. Listen, 150 now is all I can pay, all right? Cash in hand. What else? There you go, don't spend it all at once. <laughs> all right, that's better. So... Tell me about this rejection then, aren't it's a bit off. Complaints about line definition. Perhaps you've been on the source night before, eh? Oh, wish I had. No, I mean, my work's always been accurately drawn, right? Strong, clear lines, clean as a whistle, but looking at it this morning, I think I need glasses. <laughs> you know your trouble. What's that? You worry too much. Forget it, it's a one-off. So what's Virgil whinging on about now? Reckon some firm thought the wine bar. So? His nibs wanted it, didn't he? Well, it's tough. One disaster in the square is quite enough. He thinks he's got friends who are going to block the licence. Bluff, that's all it is. You did. Surprise me. She off her trolley or something? No, of course not. She's just getting rid of the junk that you and Frank wouldn't want. Like this. Family photo. My side, of course. Told you to wait for me, Mary. Shut up! Not until you explain yourself. You're not that keeper. I don't have to explain anything to you. I went away and came back. It's enough, isn't it? Yeah, and then last night you were off again. Where's Annie now? She's in the nursery. It's the only place that kid feels safe. She's been passed from pillar to post. It's a bit exaggerated. She's been with Sue, with your dad, with me. She don't know if she's coming or going. Well, she was happy enough last night. I'm bringing her up to be independent. Well, don't give me that crap. What have you been doing? I went away for a few days. What's the big deal? Doing what? Getting my head together, man. Well, you do it all the time. I thought at least you'd understand. I haven't got a kid to bring up. Well, you have now. You pick her up. Well, she lost the bones of you, Rod. Four o'clock. All right. Hello. That's what I like to see. Start as you mean to go on. Yeah, well, I don't intend to wreck the place. Vicky like it? Do you like it to your sweetheart, eh? Nice little flat for a little princess to grow up in, eh? Dean. That's right. Kids need a bit of space to spread their wings. Oh, you're right, Lou. Yeah, they do. She'll look after your place. You've got no worry on that score. Yeah, well, and Sharon, of course. Well, I just pop round and say I want the rent in advance. Oi. Fine. The rates are down to me. But I don't want any favours. You ain't getting any. When you and Sharon get a proper job, I'll put the rent up. I'm just starting you off reasonable. Business is business, Lou. Oh, that's right. Business is business. Yeah. I'm yeah. sorry I have to keep leaving you. You've got your work. It's all right. I enjoy the sun. Junior's keeping an eye on Aisha. Are you sure you wouldn't want to see your grandchildren? Best not to. They're a real credit to you, Mum. You'd love them. No caramel. Two teas, please, Ali. Sure. I need your help, Mum, even if it's just a couple of days of the week. It's just becoming more and more difficult for me to cope. My work is suffering, the kids are suffering. And as for my social life, it's practically impossible. My first duty is to your father. He still can't take what Darren did. Such a long time ago. He was a bad boy. He let down your father's good name. That's nonsense, Mum. You know it. OK, so you're a Christian. You feel you have a duty to Dad. All right. Thanks. But what about charity and forgiveness? I do love my boy, you know. We all love him. And yes, he is bad. But what's that got to do with the children? Why take it out of them? They don't even have the same mother, Carmel. No, that's not very nice. Oh, God, I don't know why you bother coming down. 
But you better go home. Your husband will be wanting his tea. Oh, it did half man up, didn't it? Yeah, I'll keep it simple. I'll just do some dips and stuff. I'll get Dad to donate the veg. Yeah, that's a good idea. We've invited Donna, by the way. Is she coming? Yeah, she seemed quite keen. Well, things are up between you two. No, it's a bit iffy, really. Yeah, has Mum said anything to you? What about? About me and Donna. No, why? I've got a feeling she's trying to split us up. Kathy wouldn't do that. Anyway, that's the quickest way of pushing two people together and your mum's not stupid. Why do you say that? Well, that's what Donna thinks she's trying to do. Mind your back. Well, Donna's got a vivid oh, imagination. Ignore her. Come on, mind your back. Oh, oh. Right. Turn it over it. Oh, yeah. Just a little bit. Oh, that's fine. I tell you what, I've had it up to here. First rod, and then I've got Sue just practically taking the ear off. Well, don't let me get you down. No. Hey, you coming out to play tonight? No, no, not tonight. Oh, something wrong? No, a bit tired, that's all. Early night. Oh, well, I'm going to go to the squat later on, then. Well, that's not really my scene, anyway. Mm. Yeah, what about Annie? How's your mission? Oh, well, she's got her uncle Rod to look after her, hasn't she? Hey, what about Sharon and Michelle's party? Are you going to go? It's a thought. Yeah, I might see you then. Good night. You just want to get rid of this change. You haven't lost the wine bar. Mm. Still, it might not be too late. No, of course not. Look, why don't you knock off early tonight? Um, I won't work you too hard. Simon can manage. Oh, thanks. It's his turn. Simon. But he says I can go early. You're yeah, so okay by me. Great. I'm glad you know. Just get me down. Keep touching me in that. Who's it for keys? You will not brown? Nah, it's a genuine old fashioned gent, isn't it? Wishful thinking in your part, that's all it is. You cheeky devil. Thanks for giving us a bell, much appreciated. The man's a burp, but he does have influence. Wilmot's Brown, eh? A name to remember. So what's the next move? It's obvious. It's down to you, isn't it? So what else can I do? I keep my eyes open and I listen. What else is there? The license the boss don't like, didn't I? He's fixing things around here is one thing. Deciding when the court sits, another. How are you? Who else? We're looking for you. Oh, yeah? Where's Rod? I'm sick of people asking me about that miserable git. Giving you a rough time, is he? I'm off home in a minute. Do you want to come? Yeah, thanks. Hey, I picked up some stuff up last. Oh, right. bring it with you. That job must have paid off. Oh, bad, what oh, bad? What are you doing? Just a job for a fella I used to know. Yeah. Should we go? Oh. Firm's got a lot of time for you, then. Oh, I'm flat. A man of intelligence, that's how they reckon you to see to it. We don't want no adjournments, referrals, or aggravation. We want that application in and rubber stamp the first time round. You got that? I'll do me best. Of course you will, me old son. Me then. Come on, talk to me, Ian. I can't. Yes, you can. Whatever it is has got to be said sooner or later, so say it. Ian! I tried getting closer to Donna and she told me to back off. Well, so what's new? So what's new is I suddenly realised what's going on. I didn't know there was anything going on. Oh, there's no point talking to you. You're just going to sit there and deny everything. Well, if I knew what it was, I might, but I don't. If you don't like Donnie, you've made that plain enough. Well, I'm not denying that. You've had a go at her, haven't you? Not exactly. What did you say to her? I want to know. I think that concerns you. All right, we had words, but it wasn't anything to do with you. Oh, come off it. What has she been saying? She says you told her to keep away from me, to back off. No, she said that, did she? What is it? Isn't she good enough for your son? Is that it? You think she's too old for me? Well, it's true, isn't it? You can do a lot better for yourself. And yes, she is too old for you. You're not experienced enough to handle that sort of girl. That sort of girl? Look, we don't know anything about her. Except that she winds people up. I mean, you've seen her for yourself, haven't you? The way she throws herself about. Flirt with every Tom, Dick and Harry. Ian, look, when you're young and you see everyone going after a bit of skirt, you want a bit yourself, see what it's like. I can understand that, believe me. But it's not worth it. It's degrading and... That sort of thing, you just regret when you look back. You really don't like her, do you? No, I don't. In fact, you hate her. Ian, I don't hate anybody. Oh, well, then what is it? There's something going on and I want to know. All of it, no fobbing me off with half-truths and excuses. Mum, you asked me to tell you what's on my mind, I've told you. Now I want the truth from you. I can't. Mum, there's no can't about it. 
Look, something's going on, and I want to know why you've been interfering. Look, I've been hearing things, but I don't understand. And one way or another, I'm going to find yeah, out. Yeah, just leave it. Oh, it's true, then, is it? There is something. Something you know. Something that affects me. You want to break us up because of something you know. So come on in, Mum. Tell me. Tell me why it is you hate her so much. Tell me why she's saying what she is. Because she's a cow, that's why. She's a troublemaker. And the longer she stays, the more misery she causes. Ian, there's some people that get under your skin like a maggot, just eating away at you till they drive you mad. That's all she is, and I hate her. I hate what she's doing to you. You're still lying to me. You're still not telling me all of it. You asked me to tell you what's been bugging me. I've told you. Now I want the truth from you. All of it. Ian, Mum, just... tell me I'll walk out the door for good. All right, then. You asked, and I'm going to tell you. Donna's your sister. She's my daughter, and she's your sister. God help me, that bitch is my flesh and blood. So Donna's my sister? Yes. What about Dad? Where's he fit in? He's not her father. Does he know about her? Yes. Terrific. Only recently. How old was you when you had her? What does that matter? It matters. How old? Fourteen. Ian, you don't understand. Fourteen, eh? What was it? Have a bit of fun? It wasn't like that. Then you dumped her. Ian, listen, you're so saying... You made me want to puke. You had a baby, my sister. Ian, look, you're upset and you're saying things you don't mean. It's all past history. It's just you that counts now. It's just you, me and your dad. No, it isn't, Mum. You can't sweep your mistakes under the carpet like that. What matters is you've been lying to me. You've been lying to me all my life. I never have. <laughs> my mother, eh? The Good Samaritan. You know what? I looked up to you. I respected you. What was all that business for me and Tina, eh? Living in sin? What a load of rubbish that was. He was protecting you. <sighs> Do me a favour. Ian, look... Mum, don't come near me. Just don't even touch me. But I don't know who you are anymore. All the women in my life, apart from Gran, have always let me down. Ian, don't... Angie, Pat and the rest of them. They're always scheming, cheating on their men. Mary and Michelle, they're just the same. But at least they don't deny who they are. And they've hung on to their kids no matter what. So you know, I used to think you were whiter than white, straight as a die. And what do I find out? You're just a slag. You're just a slag like Angie or Pat. Don't I come looking for you? Wish you can keep you for all the good it will do her.